In this video, I'm gonna show you how to crimp an ethernet connection. This is super simple. You probably already know how to do it, but uh, let's just go through it really quick. One of the main things that is hard to keep track of is what the order is supposed to be of the colors. And as you can see here, if you just take a minute and write on the handle of your tool, uh, what we've got is lowercase, uh, letters represent with white so those will have a stripe with them so it's orange and white orange green and white blue blue and white green brown and white brown that's the order that we're going to use and that's assuming the clip is facing away from us you can see right here this clip has a little thing right here you push you face that away from you with it pointed up and then that's going to be the correct order for the colors that we want to crimp so I'm just going to trim this off to start off with Remember how it works here, like so. And this has a spot on it where we can basically strip back just the outer sheathing. And we're just gonna strip back about an inch and a half or so. And this actually ratchets closed. You see that right there? And we're just gonna let this rotate around. You don't want it to go in too far or else it will obviously damage the conductors themselves so that the outside is off and now we just are going to separate each one of these strands and this has got some of this nasty like um, some kind of a sticky dielectric grease or something that's in here and that's to help keep this cable waterproof because this is an outdoor cable do you have any kind of a rag that you could grab out of your van? So this is actually a Cat6 cable, as you can see. There's a center um, insulator, uh, but the process of crimping Cat5 or Cat6 is pretty much the same. We'll take our knife and very carefully, you wanna pull on the plastic part there? Get that out of the way. Oh, it is sticky. Yeah, it's nasty. So this is the, the preparation part is probably the most important and the most time consuming of making a quality, quality connection. I have not had Hi Havila. Hi. What are you collecting? Stuff. Oh, what are you going to do with it? All right, you keep going with that. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna just kind of clean all this goop off of here. So if you're doing a regular cable, it doesn't have the sticky goop stuff, you won't have to do this part. A clean rag is preferable, but if you have a rag, it's better than no rag. Now we're gonna have this as our reference and start getting these in the correct order. So we've got orange and white is what we want first. That's already close to being on the correct side. So orange and white, and then orange, and then green and white, and then blue. So you want these at the base where they come out of the sheathing to be as non-crossing non, non like, uh, crossing over each other as much as possible, but you can only do what you can do. And then blue and white, and then green and then brown and white, and finally brown. This is what we want, and then I kind of like to wiggle them back and forth until they get laid out nice and flat, just like that. Now at this point, you gotta look at your clip to figure out how long uh, these need to protrude. Some guys will clip it on here so that this is, oops, pointed away like this. Keep the clip pointed away from you. But in theory, you can have a little bit showing and it's not really a problem. Personally, I like to keep it as tight as I can where that black collar comes right up to here to about where my thumbnail is right there. There's actually a portion of the clip that'll actually kind of clamp down onto the wires. So we will get ready to trim this back. We're gonna use our tool for that. And I'm just gonna look at this one more time. The wires go all the way to the end where these little gold terminals are located. So. We're going to go with about right there.
just like that. And now we'll just double check our order, make sure nothing went out of order. Yeah, that's right. So the blue and the green switched on me. Orange and white, orange. Green and white, blue. Blue and white, green. Brown and white, brown. All right, we're good now. Got the clip. Now we just gotta get started on here without any of them switching on us. And then we just push that on all the way until the ends. And you can see right there, since this connection is clear, you can make sure that all of those wires are pushed up to the very end of your connector before you crimp it. Orange and white, orange. Green and white, blue. Blue and white, green. Brown and white, brown. You can see right here on the side of this, it has the six pin and eight pin. Six pin is for the old telephone uh, connections, which aren't really used anymore, to my knowledge. But we just take that, you can see that it's shaped in such a way that this can only really go in one way. So we'll go ahead and push this in here until it kind of stops. Ready? Yep. And now we're just gonna crimp this down until it stops, and that's it. So if this was done correctly, we'll be able to connect this now and everything will uh, work flawlessly. So now it's Ruben's turn, here you go. You get to do it while standing on top of a ladder though. So it's literally gonna be your first crimp while standing on top of a ladder. Don't mess it up. Okay. And you only have like three feet of wire to use, so. <laughs> Wait, well, you need a clip. An inch and a half, that's a pretty good number of times I can try. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> have fun. Let me know how did your first crimp go. Uh, put it in the comment section below. Is it something where you've had to repeat or redo a bunch of them, or if they uh, pretty consistently worked for you? Uh, this is definitely not the third time I'm redoing this wire. <laughs> definitely not the third time he's doing this. Here you go. Here's the headlamp. If you like it. Actually, this is my third time doing this. I'm really experienced now. <laughs> I know two ways to not do it. <laughs> It's pretty good. I'm glad that it wasn't. The first time it actually would have been perfect. Just I one of the wires moved over while I was pushing it in. I didn't realize. Yeah, the so second the... time when I clipped it on with the clippy not facing me, that was definitely my fault. All right. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys are interested in what we're working on right now, we're actually setting up a wireless bridge from this location over across the field about a half mile away and that's just going to be done with some equipment that you can actually purchase. Maybe I'll link to that stuff for fun as well, but more specifically to the video. I'll put that video here on the screen for you guys to check out. If you want to learn how to create a wireless bridge uh, for whatever reason, you can share an internet connection or you can just uh, have network storage in a different location, which is also a significant reason to want to do something like that. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Henry! Okay. Hey! Orange, white, orange, blue, orange, white, green. I missed the green, white. Oh, the green, white, going to stop.